Today we have a titration calculation. It's a thiosulfate titration, which is very long, as you can appreciate. And therefore, I would recommend you to pause the video, read the question once, maybe twice, and then play. So, we have an iodate salt of a group one metal. And you may think, well, what is that? That is something like maybe sodium iodate, potassium iodate, rubidium iodate. For that reason, I just call it XIO3. X, X could be any metal from group one. You take a 25 centimeter cube, put it into a conical flask, then you mix it with an excess of acidified potassium iodide to get this reaction, where you get iodine and water. All right. So now you are going to titrate this iodine using S2O3, which is thiosulfate. And when you do the titration, you get a second reaction, which is going to be between thiosulfate and iodine. Okay. So what you have to do is, even if you don't have a clue about what to do, because they give you concentration and volume, calculate the mass. Then, in any titration, use the molar ratio. Here is two to one. So calculate the mass of iodine by dividing by two. Now, what is very critical here is that the moles of iodine in the second equation are the same as the moles of iodine in the first equation. So, now you can calculate the moles of iodate by dividing by 3. Okay? That's the moles in 25 centimeter cubes, so in 250, you have 10 times more. Perfect. Therefore, now you have the grams, you have the moles. If you divide grams by moles, you get the MR. You can work out the, the MR of iodates, and therefore the MR of X is going to be 85.6. Then you match it with the periodic table to a group one metal, which happens to be rubidium. And therefore the compound is rubidium iodate. 